Oh, roasty today. Shorts on. Right, welcome back to Tasty Business. Sunny day, we're gonna cook some summery food. We've got a lovely John Dory, little Johnny Dory. It's got this distinctive spot on them here. Always very easy to recognize. And obviously they've got a big sort of arrow shaped head. So we're gonna make a roasted tomato and chili sort of dressing for some shaved fennel, chopped parsley and capers. And that's just gonna be super fresh. Grill the fish whole on the charcoal, which is all ready to go. So first up, We'll get the tomatoes on roasting for the salad, and then we'll get the fish on straight away, and then we'll finish the rest of the salad whilst the tomatoes and the fish are roasting. Make sense? Yeah, makes sense to me. Tomatoes, it's gonna to be super simple. We're gonna get... It's gonna be super simple if I can get a fucking bowl. These are torpedino tomatoes, because they look like torpedoes, you see? So like a datterini or a good quality cherry tomato would be absolutely perfect for this. I'm just gonna give them a little lick of olive oil, just a touch because they're going on the they're going on the fire, so you don't need to put too much. We'll put loads of olive oil in the salad after. Good good little bit of seasoning on the outside. And the same with the chilies, okay? That just looks summery already, doesn't it? Now onto the onto the stove. I've got this little basket. Um, Fancy. And we're just going to put these, we can put the chilies, like the chilies don't need, necessarily need to go in the basket because we can just turn those over after. But the tomatoes, because they get, they start to get, they'll start to get a bit juicy after, after being roasted. And they'll just, uh, they can just stay in there and then we can tip them back into this bowl once they're, once they're just nicely softened, a little bit of char on the skin. Just want these chilies to burn nicely on the outside. This, these things are great because you can shimmy the tomatoes without them going all over on the all over the grill. It's called a mushroom basket from Country Fire Kitchen. This whole thing's from Country Fire Kitchen. It's fucking fantastic. It's called a portico at home. Someone asked me why I've got so many so much cooking stuff. I well, could work from home, mate. That's why. We're not looking to cook those tomatoes down until they're like super super soft. We want them to have some integrity left when we finish cooking them. So it's sweetening them by roasting them, we're giving them a nice bit, a bit of smoky flavour, a bit of char, just elevating. <music> Onto the fish, Johnny Dory. We want to, so I could cook it on the bone, Cook the whole thing on the bone, but what you want to make sure before we get it, before we grill it, is we just want to make sure it's really super, super dry. Like if before you, if you're grilling it or you take the meat off, you take the fillets off and put it in a pan, you really want to make sure this skin is so super, super dry, because otherwise it's going to stick. Always run, when you're drying a fish, always go down the skin like that, because they often have sp spikes coming the other way. If you decide to go that way, you're just gonna get nailed by this, this, this. It's like a saw. In there, it's like, oh, this is, this is super spiky. Right, it's nice and dry. And then we're gonna go with it, put, get a good layer of olive oil on it. Rub it really nicely in olive oil. We're gonna coat it really nicely. And then we're just gonna season it up. Okay, season the outside of it. So I'm gonna go, Nice bit of fine salt on the outside, and you can even salt inside the cavity here. Flip it over, same, same good amount of seasoning on the outside. Season the head, season everything. Now what we're gonna do, we've got the fish, fish cage on, on the grill. You can do it directly on the grill. I'm using this because I've got it. Very good for cooking larger fish that when you want to turn it, you can, you can just lift it up and turn it rather than just, rather than trying to flip it. What I'll do is I'll just give it a quick little rub with, with oil just to give us a double insurance policy that it doesn't stick. Now if you just open that up, it's 
so. Yeah. Find out. Yeah, sit it nicely in there. Those charcoals are fucking hot. Like, you can't hold your hand there for very long. Okay, so now those tomatoes are pretty much done. Just hit them out of the cage and they can just, they're just gonna sit in this bowl. And what they'll do is they'll just, so, they'll just relax, soften, release some of their juices in there. And we can pull off the chilies as well, because they'll be, they'll be done. Yeah. Leave them to chill out for a bit. Cloth over the top. Now what we just need to do, really simply make the rest of the salad. So we've got fennel, parsley, capers, then we'll just do a little dressing with lemon juice, olive oil, salt and pepper. So what I've just done there is to make sure the coals are nice and even under the whole fish. So if you don't want to use a stupid amount of coals, you just make sure you've got a good layer of hot coals underneath the fish. Oh, thing. That's probably going to tickle away for about five minutes each side. So in the meantime, I will just peel this fennel. Just taking those tough fibrous outer leaves. Fennel straight in half. Doesn't matter if the fennel's not super, super fine because we want still a nice bit of bite and it, for it to hold up against those lovely tomatoes. Now to the fennel, we're going to add chopped parsley. Wrap that parsley up in a tight little bundle. And just with your knife, just rock, rock through the herbs. Not, try not to bruise the herbs at all, yeah? Just slide the knife through, just try to slide, slide, slide. I'll see the one side for a second. Chop up a couple of tablespoons of capers. Just roughly chop those straight into the straight into the fennel. What we'll do now, we'll go for a flip on the fish. The advantage of doing this as well is that you can just you can sort of lift and, and have a little check at how the fish is doing. And you see it's all nicely it's got some nice colour on there. And then we'll just flip the fish, okay? The capers in the in with the fennel. Now we're just going to peel the toss in the tomatoes. Toss them straight in with the fennel. Now we're just going to peel these chilies. Just take the top off, and they should really just slide out of these skins. Chop them in half, and just the flesh should just slide out. These are quite spicy. I'm just going to take these seeds out. Most of the seeds are now. I'm just going to chop these up. Okay, so you've got chili. Currently in there, we've got chili, tomatoes, capers, the fennel. Now we just need to season it up. Olive oil, lemon juice, salt, and that's it. Okay, good amount of olive oil, good pinch of salt. Remember, we seasoned the tomatoes and we've already put capers in there. So we've just got to be careful. Look at that beautiful light green flecked with red and blistered tomatoes and capers. At that stage, give it a taste. Tastes great. Add the herbs in. And we're going to add in some lemon juice. You probably want to go the juice of a whole lemon for this. Give it a good mix. So we'll just test the, test the seasoning again. Mm. I mean, for me, that's spot on. Sunshine vibes. Little Johnny Dory. So I'm going to take the fish off when it's 
cooked. Just allow it to rest. For a few minutes, like you when you do when you're cooking meat, anything like that, always allow it to rest. Pick up this fish gently. So you can either serve a hole on the plate like that, or you can just I'll just I think I'm just gonna fill it this. So we've got some nice crispy skin. Go around the top like that. John Dory is actually doesn't have any pin bones running through the, the fish here. That's always, always quite a nice one for. It's quite nice for, for cooking on the bone as well. So you just cut around each side where there are some bones. There's this little frill bit here, so you just pull off that frill. Get under that bone, under this one. Just lift. Skin side up or skin side down. Smash a load of oil on that. Salt. A nice wedge of lemon. And load that up. With that beautiful fennel. Burnt tomato. Chili sauce. So John Dory cooked on the bone. Fennel, salad, burnt tomato, slaw. Look at that lemon tea. Juicy. So we come in here. Turn the fish over. See, it's lovely. Mm. Got a great texture. It's meaty. One of the meatiest fish out there. Mm. So good, just paired with this this fennel slaw, the capers, it's salty. It's light, juicy, summery vibes.